Hey guys, it's Northern Rides, and this review is part of a collaboration with Villas Byrne. It is time for my review of Vilsvinet at Mollbongland, and if you want to check out Villas' review and his opinions, head over to my channel to check it out, where he will review the coaster I usually do it, and I'll review it the way he usually does it. This is a coaster from one of my three home parks, meaning that I've ridden it quite a lot by now. I personally love this ride for what it is, and for its good elements, and it has a special place in my heart. In this review, I will go through what exactly I like about the coaster, I'll go over an on-ride POV, and I'll rank my top 5 favorite elements, and I'll finish off with a final score out of 10. Wildsvinet is the world's first Gerstler or Eurofighter, as well as the first coaster to feature a beyond vertical drop, which in this case is 97 degrees steep. The coaster is a short 22 meters tall, it's 428 meters long, and it has a top speed of 72 kilometers an hour. These stats are not very impressive, but, but they definitely don't hold back the fun factor. What I really like about this coaster is its historical significance, its first half, and of course, my personal memories from throughout my life, since I've come to Bongbongland ever since I was little, and Vilsvina dates back to 2003. The ride starts out simple with its vertical lift hill. I personally love vertical lift hills, as they're great at building up suspense, and they're comfortable. The first drop is beyond vertical, so it gives awesome ejector airtime, and the bottom gives good forces too. The overbank doesn't do a whole lot of force, but it's just fun. And the vertical loop doesn't give any hang time, though it gives force, and in some cases it's even possible to gray out. The bank up into the mid-course brake run is actually pretty rough. Halfway through it, it gets a hard jolt and head bang. This final helix really isn't exciting. It's just plain and boring and gives no kind of force at all. And the final little bunny hill does give some floater, however it's very short and not very strong. Now it's time for my top 5 elements of the ride. At number 5 we have the helix. As I said, it doesn't give any force, though I do really like going around the trees that are there. So it is enjoyable. At number 4 is the bunny hill into the final break run. It only gives weaker floater, but I do like it. Unfortunately, it's just very short. Number 3 is the overbank turn. This element is just kind of fun. It's one of those elements that don't need to do anything to, like special to be fun. It does give some laterals on the way into it, but the best part of it is almost just plunging down from it towards the vertical loop, which is at our number 2 spot. The loop gives some nice force and feels fast. It's not the strongest vertical loop I've tried, but it really doesn't need to be, and I personally think it's very fun. In fact, it was my first inversion ever, and I loved it. Finally, as expected, is the beyond vertical drop at the number one spot. The drop gives a really good ejector airtime. I always feel like yelling something whilst plunging down. It really takes your breath away and feels awesome. At the same time, the bottom is very forceful, and your face ends up in your lap. Bob Wallman says it's only 3 Gs, but I seriously doubt it. For a final score, I'll give Wildsvinet 7 out of 10. I really love this coaster and the first half doesn't have any issues, apart from the little roughness into the brake run. The theme for this coaster is also pretty fun. Unfortunately, the second half just pulls it down from the top of the scoreboard. It definitely could be a better coaster, and it might be the most boring Eurofighter out there, but I really don't care, as I still really do like it. Anyway, that has been my review of Bong Bonland's Wildsvinet. Thanks to Willis Byrne for the cooperation. Make sure to go over to my channel, Northern Rides, to check out his review of Wilson and see if his opinions are any different. Otherwise, bye guys.